guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jen Belly. Happy 2021. I'm going to teach you today how to do a 2021 creativity altar. Altars are just dedicated spaces to that which you wish to put your intentions to. So I have been making them for many years and I used to have an issue with the word altar because of connotations that it has. But what I have realized is that absolutely everybody, everybody makes altars, whether you have arranged candlesticks or a clock on a mantelpiece or books or photo frames on a bookshelf. We've all created altars, even um, I've seen men make altars with um, their shaving products. <laughs> you know, there's all kinds of ways in our daily lives that we create dedicated spaces to something. And altar, when you break down the word in Latin, I think it goes back to fireplace or hearth. So it's really a focus. And that's also another um, derivative of the word, it's focus. So it's a focused space that we are going to create within whatever we want to create within 2021. So I don't see altars as too different from art journal pages. An art journal page is just a page, it's a piece of paper or a canvas, it's a canvas. And an altar is no different, it's just a space that you create on, except it's a physical representation rather than an art piece but being creatives we do incorporate our art pieces so what you want to do first is create a dedicated space now i'm going to use a space in my studio that is a very small kind of little bookshelf that i have next to my computer that is already an altar that i'm going to take down and redo for 2021 but it's a space that is right there next to me a lot of the time that I'm you know doing stuff and I'm creating so one thing that I have learned a lot in 2020 is that our spaces are super important because we interact with them all the time whether you realize it or not I think we've all maybe realized it in 2020 that we are really um, kind of one with our environment you know they're always there we're always participating and interacting with it so I'm going to keep it there, but I'm also going to keep it there because it's a small space. Now, if you want to, you can use a whole table, um, but I'm going to keep it up all through 2021. It might change, but I'm going to keep it up through all of 2021. So I don't want anything that's big and cumbersome and going to take up room or I'm going to knock over. I want something out of the way. So I'm going to use this little space for my altar. And the first thing you want to do is create the space. So clean it um, however you wish to clean it, make it a nice space. And then you want to define the space. Now, given that it's already in like a little cubby, the space is already defined. So you don't really have to do this step. But if you are putting it on, say, um, a chest of drawers or a desk or something where you're still going to be using other parts of that surface for something, then I would suggest creating a little container for yourself for this altar. Now you can get altar cloths if you wish to, but they are of a quite a big size, or you can just get a piece of cloth. I'm going to use a piece of glitter paper <laughs> because this is a creativity altar, so I want it to be all about, you know, the sparkle that I want to happen in 2021. Now because I've used a piece of glitter paper, I want to kind of anchor it down so I'm going to use some crystal points just to do that using crystal points that have the energies also that I want to bring into 2021 so I'm not going to go into that because that'll be a whole other video but you want to bring in things that are meaningful to you all the way through this altar space okay and then we start with what I think is one of the most important things for your altar is a bit of art now you can use postcards oracle cards I'm going to go with a little piece of artwork that I created myself and what I often do with my artwork is incorporate something else that I think is very important for your altar and that's messages or affirmations or things you want to be reminded of through 2021. Now I'm only going to go with one piece of artwork for this altar because my previous altar was kind of messy and it had a lot of stuff going on and so this one I want to kind of keep it like simple and streamlined so I'm going to kind of calm it down a little bit <laughs> I'm just going to keep it with one piece of artwork and then the pieces 
I put on the altar, they're going to be kind of streamed down because I can easily go OTT with things. But this is your altar, so you do you. And you really need to make sure that you have a connection with everything that goes on your altar for 2021. This is, think of it as your connection space. This is what you want to connect to in 2021 so that you can come to this space whenever you need to throughout the year to realign yourself to that which is your intention right now okay so for that reason what i also think is a good thing to have on your altar is a dedicated tool now this can be anything but it's something that you want to use when you come to the space so i'm going to use a singing bowl but you can use a candle previously i had on my altar a little incense burner and i used to burn incense at the altar you can use a pen and you every time you use that pen it's for rewriting your intentions for the year rewriting that which you want to bring in for 2021 it can be think of anything that you use it can even be things like food you know you can put like if you've had nice fancy sweeties for christmas or something you can put those on your altar and every time you have one it's from this space it's energized from this space and from your focus and it will just be a reminder every time you taste that sweet. You can also use oils. Now I used oils to kind of start, as I cleaned my space, to dedicate this space. Um, if you're in Luna, which is a recent class that I did, I went through quite a bit about oils or scent association. The birds are at it again. <laughs> scent association that happens when you reuse a scent so you can put a perfume on there if you want but think back to you know your grandmother's cookies or your grandmother's fragrance things from your childhood that you smell and instantly when you smell it as an adult you are transported back there that's to do with parts of our brain that are pre almost primal they're pre language um which is why we find it difficult to kind of explain what scents smell like but it's this sense that's kind of instinctual and will take you back to a place so if you put a scent an oil an essential oil or a mist or a fragrance if you put something on there and use it every time you want to be reminded of that which you want to create in 2021 you'll get that scent association and my recent class lunar is actually a reason why i'm doing this video and i'll give away a spot on that class at the end of this video it's because people started sharing their altars in that class without me prompting them to do it. I mean, I did once people started sharing it, I was like, share more, because <laughs> I love seeing what people create. So you wanna fill this space with that which has meaning to you. It's symbology or things that inspire you. And really the most important thing, the most important thing for you to put on your altar for 2021 is your intention what is your intention for this altar because then that will help you figure out what the rest of it is if it's to boost your creativity then you may put a piece of artwork from an artist that really inspires you on there or if it's peace it might be lavender flowers or things like that you know i can't think off the top of my head it depends what you want um, but there's a million things that you could create your creativity altar for so you want to make sure that your intention is solid for this altar and how I did that is that I wrote 2021 a letter and I folded it and I put it underneath the glitter paper so that it's kind of always there. It's hidden you know from sight, it's keeping the, the altar clean to look at but it's always there. My intention is always being infused into that space. Most important thing. And obviously I wrote my letter before I did my altar so that it kind of instructed in my altar what I wanted to do. In the end, I ended up putting a couple of extra little bits on the altar that I wanted to also represent my creativity. So I had a piece of artwork, so I had like my paper, things that I paint, and then I had a little polymer clay dragon, um, which I made a few years ago representing kind of my clay creativity and then I also put on um, an organite which I made in resin representing that part of my creativity as well so I had this little triad 
of um, items that I created. Now I think it's really important, I realise I haven't said this when I talked about art, but I think it's really important to put something on your altar that you have created because that again infuses an extra layer of creativity. If this altar is for creativity, it's really important, I think, that you put something of your creativity on the altar. It's kind of a mirroring effect. You get that which you wish out of it by kind of pouring it in. So I put those three things on that is part of my creativity. And I also poured intentions in that are invisible, such as that which is the letter, such as that which is the oils. I chose each of those oils for a particular reason such as that which is the crystals. I chose each of those for a particular reason because they each have a different meaning. So all of it is intentional, nothing is wasted. Um, but then I ended up just putting some rosebuds on the altar, just because I wanted to, because rosebuds represent beauty. It also represents another area of creativity that I've got into recently, which is creating with herbs. And it's um, pretty. So you can also put things on for that reason, you know, things that are beautiful to your eye, things that will draw your eye is important because you want to interact with this altar. And then throughout the year, you can freshen it up as you wish to. You can come to use it as you wish to with your dedicated tool. My singing bowl means I'll literally be playing music and that's also another thing that adds layers um, if you want to play some music or use a musical instrument on your altar. You can bring in anything that you wish to into your altar, anything that is a representation of you, anything that is a representation of the year that you wish to have, anything that is a representation of your creativity, anything that you wish to be or become any of those things. You know, something that you wish to become, something that you wish the year to become, something that you wish your creativity to become. It's a lovely practice to do, it's a lovely practice to have in your studio and it's a lovely thing to come to throughout the year so I hope you enjoy doing this altar. If you wish to share pictures please do so on my art journaling community journalworkshops.ning.com and onto the giveaway I'll give a spot away for Luna which is my manifesting with the moon journaling course which we did throughout December 2020 that is a lifetime access class. It isn't limited to any time because you can always manifest with the moon and really for January it's a perfect time because it's a great alternative to New Year's resolutions. I've always said that for the class. Manifesting with the moon is a wonderful way to do this with the creativity altar but kind of on a larger scale. So 20 to win a spot on that class. Just like this video and leave me a comment. Let me know that you've done that and I will pick a winner in one week's time. Incidentally, I should mention this, there's two days left on a massive, massive mates rate sale that I have on journal workshops on all classes, on the Remedies Junk Journal class workshop, on the Creative Gold Journaling workshop, on Creative Resistance Remedy workshop, on the Wisdom Journal workshop, on every workshop that is on journal workshops, there's about 50 to 80% off of each class and that's going for two more days and then that is gone. So if you want any classes on journal workshops, please make sure you get them now while that is still on. I mean, you can get them later, but <laughs> why when you can get them at this ridiculously um, discounted price? And all of my classes are lifetime access. So even if you can't do them straight away, you can get them and save them for later when you want to do them, okay? So much love, everybody. I really hope um, you enjoy doing your altars. I really hope you share pictures with me. You guys that are on journal workshops, you know I love seeing. <laughs> I love seeing that stuff. Much love, everybody. I hope you have an awesome 2021.